Hey you guys, what's up? So, um, let's start with our therapy session. You should have listened to me. Yeah, we should have listened because to you, of Hill. Your choices, people have died. Yep, people have I died. I don't know which is worse, actively triggering events that lead to someone's death mm -hmm. or passively allowing a tragedy to occur. <laughs> because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger <laughs> to help someone else. Oh, Dr. Hill. Remember last year? Huh? How you left your poor sisters to die? <laughs> you did nothing to help. That guilt. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear. While a real threat was closing in. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Mm-hmm. Oh look, no tissue for okay. you, bitch. That's gone terribly wrong. Yep. And your friends like your sisters have deserted you. Yep, you were an asshole. You're Sorry. All alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? <laughs> why did you hurt them? Joshua, why did you hurt them? Uh, they hurt me. Well, they didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake, and a terrible tragedy befell your sister. Mm-hmm. They did not intend for that to happen. It just did. Exactly. And they were sorry, at least, until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. Mm-hmm. I'm doing the same answers Let's I did hope. before. But it's not too late for atonement. Gotta hope. And that's your friends, hope. if they still are your friends, can save you from this terrible isolation. No. I don't give a shit if Josh dies or not. He's an asshole. <laughs> He's a psych, like a psychiatric, psychotic. Oh my God, guys, thank God. Psycho it took you so long. Douchebag. Not so good up there right now. Oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh, quiet. Exactly. Uh, yeah, he, uh... Wait! Don't move. I failed at not moving. <laughs> Poor stranger. What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Exactly. Josh, he's gotta have it. And what is all that? It may have taken him down to the mine. Lovely. I was down there. It was horrible. I believe You've we're been gonna face in the Mike 50s, again. I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Um, what is that? Huh? This is the safe room, M. <laughs> Fuck! I can't do this. F bomb. Oh, I'm so glad. It's the right thing. Keep an eye on her. Though, I might go back, back someday soon. just to kill her. <laughs> I might replay and be like, "Yeah, M, you're dead." A few. Nine to spare. Two hours until dawn, guys. Two hours. Okay, okay, okay. So we're Mike again at the sanatorium. And we're walking around. Just walking around. I'm really not looking forward to the Wendigos. Because you know there are wendigos around here, and it's gonna scare the ever living piss out of me. Yep, yep, yep. Do you guys remember this area? Do you remember it yet? Because in here is where all the barrels caught a flame and exploded. check over here. Maybe there's something over here. Did I miss anything? Because I didn't really look. I was too scared out of my mind. I'm actually still scared out of my mind. I really don't want to bother looking around for stuff <laughs> at all. I just want to kind of go, F it. Nope. Uh, do you recognize where we are now? The stairs that led down to hell. Well, actually, now they're leading up to hell, so... <laughs> This is not going to be a pretty place. I can tell you that. Oh. 
trust me, this is not gonna be fun times. This is gonna be the opposite of fun times. Holy shit. Yeah. The place came crashing down to huh. pieces. And the creepy music is playing for me. Just love that creepy freaking music for me. Alright. So. Walking around. Walking around. I already checked this. Yeah. Yeah, I checked that already. Uh, was there anything else? That's basically where he slept. Which, honestly, is smart. I mean... You cage yourself in so nothing can get at you. That is pretty friggin' smart. Um, yeah, I don't know where the wolves are. And it makes me sad. Those poor, poor wolves. So, this right here is where we need to go. Hence the big giant lock on it. <laughs> Meaning we gotta find ourselves a gun. Back here, I believe, is a clue for the thing. Yeah. The little gravestones. Holy hell. Yeah. The different graves. Probably of the miners. Which sucks. But that's all that is. Clues. So, hold on. I don't know. I just kind of went straight ahead. So let me see if I can leave. Yeah, I already checked the stogie there. huge giant stone that fell out of freaking nowhere. Can't go in there, unfortunately. I always wondered what was in there. So it doesn't let us go in the door, so we gotta go up the stairs. No one to go yet, thank god. Because I'd be shitting bricks. I hate Wendigos. If I could ever go without ever seeing a Wendigo again, I would take it. Within a heartbeat. I kind of like the idea of Wendigos better. I mean, it's just like, hey, there's spirits that... And you're, you become one of them when you turn to cannibalism. <coughs> I love when they give reasons for shit like that. Alright. So over here, we get ourselves a torch. I just need a pitchfork and a mob. <laughs> yeah. I think that'd be a good idea. Don't you? There we go. We got our lights. We're gonna put a flashlight. Because... We need to take a lot more like that. There is a huge freaking box full of shotgun ammo. Uh, take enough. more. Seriously, take more than a freaking handful, man. What kind of idiot only takes a freaking handful? So, off over here. Off we go. Off we go to this store, in which we're going to make a lot of noise <clears throat> by... Oh, Jesus. <sighs> Seriously, that was so overkill. Donkey! It's our pal. Hey, big guy. It's our pal. The Woof Woof. Have you seen me again, huh? I'm happy to see you too. Hey. I was hoping I'd run into you again. Oh. Alright. Good boy. Oh. Alright, pal. My buddy. Oh, man. Yay. Alright. Here's the plan. <laughs> I happen to see a map of this place. So we're not flying blind. 
We're talking to there a wolf. There should be a way through the psychiatric wing that'll take us right outside the mine. <laughs> Think you can handle that? Uh, Couldn't have said oh, it better myself. It's so adorable. Ah, boy. He's gonna be our scout. He's gonna be letting us know if there's anything we need to be watching out for. Oh. I want a wolf now. Or at least pet a wolf. I realize they're wild animals. It wouldn't be fair to keep them captive in my room. But I would love to a Doggy boy, calm down. Oh. Okay. This is not gonna be fun, okay? This is gonna be far. I can move like you, Wolfie. Oh, me too. Stuck on this side. All right. Yep. All right. There goes nothing. There we go. These decrepit awesome. things. Oh God, Wendigos! I'm hearing noises. I'm hearing noises and I don't like it. How did the wolf get on this See side? That? I do got moves. Wolfie. Come on, out, Wolfie. That is my buddy, okay? My buddy. I'm gonna make sure my buddy lives. That that's the second change I'm gonna make. Chris Chris doesn't die from me being a horrible aim and Wolfie lives. Trust me. I was so pissed when cause Wolfie did die. And I'm just like I was so pissed. Like completely and absolutely. Huh. Well, I should probably let you guys read that. <laughs> that was rude. Um Reporting physician Dr. W. B. Cathcart. Initial report. The patients were first admitted to Blackwood's medical facility five days ago. During this time, we have a run a number of tests, both psycho physiological and psychological. The results have been extraordinary in contravention of common medical expectations. Observed parlor skin depigmentation, sphere vitamin D deficiency, social dysfunction. Longer than average readaption period post traumatic event, interpersonal behavior erratic, violence towards orderlies, three attempted assaults, one attempted scratching, symptoms expected but not observed, malnutrition, scurvy, average quill index was only within minus negative 3% of normal expected. They should be dead. Frostbite, patient stimulus response within acceptable bounds, Fra frailty, weakness, dissension of tibia, fibia, and humerus, observed unusual growth and strength when patient lifted 725 pounds weight, suggested action, place under strict observation, restraint strongly recommended, change from one orderly to three orderlies, 24 hour day observation. So here's here's how it goes. The mines collapse, thirty some miners are trapped in the mine. I'm sure you guys can guess what happened. Only fifteen some guys come out while another fifteen are dead. Hint hint there's no hint of starvation. So um they ate the other fifteen miners. Cannibalism. Wendigos. Hello. Oh god. The other wolfie. Oh no. The other wolfie. No other wolfie. Shit. Aww. Poor wolfie. Jesus Christ. Fuck, I got myself. You're the idiot who decided to go to the sanatorium. Poor Wolfie. That was your bro, wasn't it? Huh. These doors were built like tanks. How crazy were these inmates? Exactly. Fuck. 
fuck, man. F bomb. It's truly disgusting. Yeah, it is. All right, and then in here is this little bit. What went on here? Let us out. We are starving, freezing. I will make you pay. Stop testing us now. They're starving for flesh. That's that's basically what it is. <laughs> They're starving for flesh. And yeah. No, Wolfie, be careful where you go. I do not want you getting killed. I plan on you living, dog. If you die, I am going to be so pissed. I'm going beyond pissed. I will be going cray cray. Oh god, when to go off in the corner going by the window. Shit. Okay. Um Actually, I think I'm going to end up changing another thing now that I think about it. Okay, yeah, I can't go over there. I didn't do something before, and I'm going to end up doing it this time. Oh, I'll let you know when I'm not freaking the hell out. Alright. So, B-Wing is where we're supposed to go, but there's a clue or two back here. So, we come storming back here. Hold on. Is there something else here? I forget. Oh yes, Doctor. Back here. Alright. So, we come over here. We open this drawer. And we open this file. Blackwood Sanatorium uh, Medical Examination of Patient Number 9. Progression of Skeletal Hyperstasis. I can't pronounce words. <laughs> Day 4. Epidermal Dispignation. Expected after time underground. Sphere Horticulture of Thorax or whatever. Big words I can't pronounce. My timer going off. Okay. Day nine, five days later. Chronic kyphosis scarring, alopica, whatever, extreme nasal septum, forfaritation thing, pointing of teeth. Ugh. Jesus, hot sauce, Christmas cake. This is fucking unbelievable. F bomb. <laughs> Three days later. Complete different language I cannot read at all, but that picture says it all. All of it. Okay, so over here, we check this out, and we bang into it, push it off, and who do we meet? Somebody who locked themselves in. Seriously, they locked themselves in. Holy shit. Who is this guy? Yeah, who is this guy? He has a little something for us to see. Okay. God, this guy's face. Sorry, old dude. Yeah, sorry, old dude. So, to whom it may concern. Oh, God. The first time I read this and I flipped a page. Um, his face scared me. I startled so bad. And they still kind of startled me. They are dying outside. I hear them screaming and crying. This hell is my only legacy. God's punishment for my mistakes. No escaping my fate. Death, death awaits me now. Jefferson Bragg. Here you go, dude. So, uh, let's call this here. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, because I'm getting freaked the hell out. So, see you guys later. Bye.